Hey kids, it's the Mistleton Flyer here. Hope you're well. Another exciting day in the Mistleton Man Cave because today's the day I'm going to protect the paint on the 899 Panigale. One of the problems with this bike is that uh, Ducati supply it bizarrely without a top coat of lacquer on the paint and therefore it's very susceptible to scratching up and stone chips and so on. Lots of owners have complained about that. So I've kept this looking very spangly and brand new straight from the factory still and I've arranged for Tony of Tony James Design to come down and apply some 3M protective tape over the bike, uh, so hopefully it'll keep it looking in pristine condition for the years to come. Now Tony doesn't want to show his face or talk on camera, but he's more than happy for me to film the process. So stick around, stay tuned, and I'll show you how we go about protecting a motorcycle like this with the 3M protective tape. So the first thing Tony had to do was uh, remove the existing tank pad with a bit of heat, uh, and he even managed to save that and reapply it later, so that was great. And then clean down the paintwork with some degreasing chemicals, uh, just so you start with a super clean bike. Uh, then the panels get uh, wetted down with a mixture of uh, soap, water and alcohol to make a sort of slip solution. Uh, and this helps neutralise the adhesive uh, on the film and ensures you don't get fingerprints or other contaminants on it. And also you can see that it allows you to actually move the film around and reposition it as required. All the moisture is squeegeed out using a rubber pad and when Tony's completely happy with the positioning, and uh, I have to say he's a stickler for accuracy, which is great. Uh, he dries off um, the section concern with a microfiber and, uh, and that section's done. Once Tony's worked his magic, you can't easily see where the film's been applied actually. Um, it's, uh, you know, if you look and you know where it is, then you can see it, but uh, just to the, you know, the casual glance, you wouldn't see it. Um, so basically that process then, using the slipping agent and just um, putting the pre-cut uh, panels is uh, repeated uh, until the whole bike is done and the whole kit is applied. It's actually quite fascinating to watch Tony in action. He's been at this now for uh, four years, so he's done uh, one or two bikes and cars in his time, uh, but he tells me he much prefers bikes, finds cars a bit boring. And the great news for me is he's done a lot of Panagales as well, so uh, he knows what sections are, are problematic and which ones uh, he needs to do on these bikes. A very special piece is Tony's got the ability to design and customise patches on his laptop. Uh, and then he can precision cut them using a special plotting board armed with a special cutter and his fan. And uh, here's a couple of um, special um, sections he did for the front mudguard. I've just had the lowers done here uh, in matte. Uh, and again, it just blends in. You can't really see that it's on there. Now, Tony's tried all the leading makes of protective films uh, in his time in the trade, but he's settled on this one. Unfortunately, I can't remember what he called it. It's not the 3M uh, one, but this particular product, he thinks, uh, ends up giving the bike a slightly deeper shine and a more durable finish than the other products. Uh, when he's done all that and the bike's completed, he applies uh, various finishes to the, uh, to the bike. Uh, to the black plastics, something called um, G-Technic C1, and that brings it up like new, and the rest of the paintwork gets uh, something called EXO from G-Technic, which actually provides a sort of a... Um, a chemical hard covering. Okay, so there we have it kids, best part of a day later and the bike's all done. We've got the protective film uh, on it. She looks absolutely fantastic. I think Tony's done a top job of it. If you're interested at all, look up Tony, Tony James Design. Look him up on Facebook and uh, he'll do a top job. He's a, he's a lovely guy, very professional and more OCD than I am. So, uh, so he'll really do a good job. But uh, I think it looks great when you look really closely, you can see the film, but just a casual glance, you can't see that the film's on there. And she looks, uh, she looks much deeper in shine as well. So really pleased with the job he's done. Okay, so I uh, hope that's been of interest. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing Them Fly. Cheerio.